Hello lovebirds, Tanya TKO here. And I had an epiphany this morning as I was walking in the park. Those of you who are on my Instagram, you know because I uploaded a little eight second video. Imagine that, me finishing my whole point in eight seconds. And so if you're not on my Instagram, make sure you go over there now and add me. That's at Tanya TKO. And that's Tanya, yes, with an O, T-O-N-Y-A. And then stay tuned after the video if you want my secret for how I am able to look this fantabulous without any type of makeup. People were talking about how they don't like when I make videos with makeup. Not even my eyebrows. So today is a makeup free day and it's like no big difference, you know, because I'm, you know, I'm flawless. Anyway, <laughs> so today's video, the epiphany I had while I was walking, because as you all see, I've lost most of all of the weight that I've ever wanted to lose. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. And it dawned on me because even though I've lost the weight that I want to lose, I will continue to eat right. I will continue to walk. I will continue to, you know, do yoga and, and stretch and meditations and work out and Zumba when I feel like it and whatever when I feel like doing that, the stair drill or whatever. I will continue to do that because Remember I did that video in the park, that walking vlog, where I discovered it's not about weight loss. It's about health gain. And that was the big, that was the big thing that, that just changed my focus and it changed what it was that I was doing because there are so many different things that you can do for weight loss, so many unhealthy things. And, and weights and your weight, you punish yourself with the weight and so whatever you do to lose weight is a punishment for the fat that you have. But that's not even the epiphany that I had. The epiphany that I had was that it's not about the destination. Or I was asking myself, what if? What if it's not about the destination? What if it was about the journey all along? And then I started thinking about my life. And I started thinking about every single milestone that I've ever come to. And I've realized that, remember I talked about this in the video, how we have to celebrate because when we get to the, when we get to the, to our goal, you know, there's no big hurrah. There's no, there's no ticker tape parade. It's like, we have to do these, these celebrations for ourselves because when we get to the point that we wanted to get to, we're there. Then what? Now what? Like when I reach, when I when I get when I get to my my finished weight, then what? What 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 what, what will my focus be on then? Then what? You know, once I graduated high school, I was like, now what? Graduated college, now what? And it was like every single milestone. But then it was like along the way, I didn't realize, and it didn't dawn on me till today. It didn't dawn on me. What if it's not about the destination? What if it's not here? What if it's about all the things that you did, the experiences, the emotions, the feelings, and the days that passed while you were working towards getting here? What if it was never really about here, but the real, the real enrichment to your life? What if it was the process? of getting there. When I think back on my college days, remember I did that video, um, and in the video I got very emotional. I'll put the link right here. And I talked about how, you know, first it was high school, I couldn't wait to get out of high school. And then it was like, now what? Then it was college, then I couldn't wait to get out of college. And then it wasn't until I graduated that I realized how beautiful the experience was along the way. You know, those nights that we rode Marta for the very first time. Those nights that we as young women coming of age, that we hung out together, the friendships and the bonds that we formed, some of which I'm still in contact with the people on Facebook today. What if it was really all about that stuff? The going to class and having the crush on the, on the pre-med student who ended up going to, um, 
to school and now is a doctor? What if it was really about those little moments in between the first car that I got and how I learned how to drive stick in the parking lot one hour before we were supposed to get on the road to drive from Atlanta to New York? What if it was never really about here? What if it was about the process of getting to where it is? So, you know, so I think about, you know, so many of my girlfriends who are waiting, who want to be with their soulmate, and they're so miserable now because they want to be in that relationship with that man. But what about right now? What about the beauty of the process of coming into your womanhood, coming into yourself and growing as a woman, learning the things that you learn along the way? You know, some of you, <clears throat> so many of you who watch my videos, you know that I changed the focus of my videos. I shaved my head in January and something changed in me. This was before my weight, my before I had my weight releasing, everything. I just, I just, I woke up to this realization. And so, so much has changed. And like some of my old subscribers who've been with me for so long, there's a shift going on in the world and some people are shifting with me and other people are not. And so, you know, so some people are kind of like, what's going on with this? You're talking craziness and other people are like, yes, talk more about that. You know, so you know that I'm in, I'm in, I'm in a space right now where I can feel my soulmate coming forward soon. And so I've just been readying myself and doing the things that I need to do to get ready. And something happened. Something happened. Guess what? Something happened. Along the way, between there, there and there, along the way where I am right now, I discovered the tremendous need for, um, for the self-love summit that I began last month. And so this is going to become a thing because I'm doing another self-love summit in September and then I'm doing a three-day retreat in November. Not only that, my book, my book. I'm going to be changing the name because I want the focus to be on the on the secrets that I learned. I don't want the focus to be on me being a motherless child and that's how I learned through the school of hard knocks. You know, I want the focus to be on the 10 most crucial secrets I learned about love, sex, and self-esteem the hard way so that you don't have to. I want you to learn from my mistakes. And, you know, I started writing the book, but I reached this writer's block. And if you want to get on the mailing list for the book, because I'm going to the Caribbean, I'm going to spend a month there and just type out and just type out and just continue to write hardcore on the book, you know, developing myself as a human being and just continuing along this journey. But... I um I discovered that that that, that teaching people about self esteem and self worth and self love has is a calling of mine. I learned that I have the ability to facilitate seminars. I learned that I um that I'm going to be going to colleges and talking to you know to the to the incoming classes about dating safety, sexual health, and uh, and and things of that nature. So instead of just sitting down waiting. Oh, when am I going to get with my soulmate? When is he coming forward? Instead of doing that, I've been developing myself along the way. And the journey has been amazing because I'm happy to have been able to come into myself like this at this stage before I get there so that I develop more of who it is that I am and I continue along the way because it's not so much about us getting together because that's a milestone. Think about any milestone you've ever had in your life having a child, getting married, even having a big party, um, graduation, getting your degree, your certificate. Think about all of that. Once you reached your goal, then there was another goal that you set for yourself. So maybe it was never really about the goal anyway. Maybe it was really about the life that exists, the experiences that exist. Because as you know, listen, we're here in human form to be able to get the experiences that we can't have as spirits. You know, there's just some things we just don't feel as spirits and spirits. Everything is all love. We don't get to grow in the hardships of life. You know, earth is a school. And what if it's never, what if you really don't have to do anything except be, except live, except be happy? What if that's your only goal?
honestly think about that what if that's your only the only thing you need to do it makes life so much different maybe you don't have to you don't have to do that whatever it is that you're working maybe you don't have to maybe just existing just being happy just living in the lap of love the lap of life the love of life maybe that's it right there so today is about the journey you know it's not so much you know it's like you you have children and it's like it's not it's not so much okay when your children are going to be okay, when they're going to be adults, when they're going to be able to take care of themselves and survive, what are they going to be like when they're adults? Maybe it's about enjoying that time with them while they're growing up, enjoying the experiences, making memories. You know, so many of us want these memories to come into our lives, but we don't facilitate actual events that will be, you know, memories for us, you know, that will become memories, especially in dating. You know, we um we it, when we first start dating, we plan and we create you know activities for us to partake in, and then after we get into the relationship for some time, we don't plan these outings anymore. But that's what memories are made of. So it's like enjoy the process in your life, lovebirds. What is it that you can do? Because listen, getting to the end goal, if you spend each one of these days miserable just sad and downtrodden it's like this is the the end goal is one day so you get there one day but what about the 365 days what about the 720 days what about the 1000 days between here and there what were those days like what was the quality of those days like and i implore you i implore you take advantage of those days now Take advantage today. Live your life and be happy and enjoy the process. Because these are things, these, these feelings, you know. Hey, I re listen. I remember, listen, I remember having all of that weight for so many years and wanting to get it off. I remember all of the, 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 the staring in the mirror, pulling on different parts. Look, I hardly got anything to pull now. I remember pulling on parts and, you know, looking at things rolled and doubled over. And I remember, you know, this was long ago. You have to do positive affirmations for your body and really love up your body. You know, but I remember those days. And now that I'm here, I wonder why I worried at all. It was a waste. It was a waste. It really was. All that worrying over what? Now what? We, we did, what did all of that worrying amount to? It didn't do anything except take the pleasure out of that day. There's so many quotes. Tell me some quotes. You know, it's like worrying doesn't, doesn't solve the problem of tomorrow. It just takes the joy out of today. So what, what, of all of that for what? You know, but it was like I was enriched by the experience of even going through that quote unquote suffering because it was self-imposed. You know, all I had to do was really make up my mind to gain health instead of lose weight and the focus changed, the emphasis changed. Things came into my life to assist me. So that is it. That's my whole video. And I'm going to tell you about my regimen. Give me a hug. I love you all very, very much. Love, 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 love. I love you all so very, very much. Go out there and love one another. Most importantly, what? Love yourself. And for my regimen, I, um, I use on my face, I, this is a little... I use this as a little jar of the complexion polish right here. I use a complexion polish. You know, I don't put labels on my own stuff. So this is a little complexion polish. It has, um, mm, it's, it's so, mm, I'll show you what it looks like. It's, um, it's an, it's organic Brazilian, it's like, it's an evaporated cane juice. It's all organic made from edible ingredients. It's all edible until the soap is added. It has a coconut castile soap and vanilla rum astringent. And it has little tiny, I wonder if you'll be able to see this. It has little tiny vanilla beans in there that are hand scraped. I'll try to focus this for you. Look, look, look. Can you see? Focus. Not on my fingers, but oh, do you see the, oh, look, the vanilla beans. <laughs> Finally, I got my camera to focus when I wanted it to. So it has the vanilla beans in there, and so it provides a nat natural moisture. It's, it's an amazing scrub. So the complexion polish reveals your virgin skin from within. You come to my website, you'll see that. I'm open for summer sales, and I'm going to be closing, finishing that up before I head to the Caribbean. And I use the African black soap. See that? It's not black, it's brown because it's made from 
it's not gonna see now it doesn't want to focus the African black soap and I use the pure vitamin E vitamin E is an amber It's amber in color pure but real vitamin E is amber in color if you have clear vitamin E even the ones in the capsules they use especially the ones in the capsules because vitamin E is most potent for the first year and when the manufacturers manufacturers don't want to invest this stuff is very expensive you very expensive like per gallon who it's like liquid gold and so you know so I sell it um, I sell it in 20 milliliters so that you can have that and it lasts quite some time and it it just it makes your skin it takes it removes the excess pigmentation from your skin so if you have like splots or splotches or whatever so that's what I use on my skin I use the complexion polish you know I started using that around here it's tightened up my skin and the nature's eraser and I also use the loofah I have a loofah over there but I don't want to run out should I run for it? I'll run for it real quick. One second. <laughs> okay. This is a this is a this is a small loop. A young lady came here and packed this for herself, and she forgot it. A friend of mine's daughter, so she got a little small loop for herself. And the loofah is soft. It's imported from Egypt. This is what I use on my body with the black soap and then the Nature's Eraser, and that what has helped me get rid of my stretch marks. Why you see none here. Oh, why, why am I doing this on camera? Well, you know why. <laughs> this is why you don't see it. I'm too much. I have to stop this right now. I'm going off the deep end. But that's why you don't see any stretch marks on me, despite how much I've gone up and down in weight over the years. And no puberty marks either. So listen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of here. Come over to my website. It's tkoskin.com. Um, and that's pretty much it. Listen, I love you all so very, very much. That is my, that's my, my full regimen. There are some other things that I use like on my feet and all of that, <laughs> you know, but you can get my secrets all one by one. If you come to my website, tkoskin.com. If you, I really need you all to come to my website here, tanyatko.com. You can find a link to TKO Skin from there. So if you come to tanyatko.com, you can, um, you can get directly on my personal mailing list so that you can have my videos delivered to you once a week, be able to get updates on TKO Skin and all of that. So listen, I am out of here. Give me your thoughts on everything that we talked about. I'm tremendously curious. Listen, are you enjoying your day today? What difference does this make if all the days leading up to it were miserable? So keep that in mind, and I'd love your comments below. Tanya TKO, did I give you all of my sites? TanyaTKO.com. Find me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Tanya TKO show. And in Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest, which is at Tanya TKO. And that's Tanya. <laughs> yes, with an O, T O N Y A. And I'm out. Oh, and if you want to come to my Self Love Summit, come to my website. I'm putting the link up today for you to get on the list to come out in September. So listen, I, or in November, the November one is going to take a little bit longer to plan because I'm looking for the location where we're going to meet up for the, for the retreat right now. So that's in November. So we have a little bit of time for that. But start signing up for the September one now. Okay, Tanya TKO, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>